just finished testing the Z3. This is Tyga's all new wake sports boat. It was powered by the PCM 409 horsepower 6 liter engine that has a catalytic converter which makes it really safe for sports like wake surfing, which is what this boat is all about. Gave us great performance on plane in 3.4 seconds to 30 miles an hour in 6.1 seconds with a top speed of 43.2 miles an hour. Now this boat has the convex V hull, which means it's kind of shaped like a banana, so what, what that allows you to do is the stern rides low in the water so it naturally plows up a wake even before you add ballast. Now to control the attitude of the bow, you can use the TAPS-2 uh, wake plate, which uh, also allows you to shape your wake to however you want it. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features. Well, Daniel, uh, when I saw the Z3 debut at Surf Expo, since then I've been seeing people wake surfing on this boat everywhere. Now, what, what makes this especially uh, suited for that uh, fastest growing sport now? Um, you know, if wake surfing is what you're into, then the Z3 is going to be the boat that can do it. We put a lot of time and energy into developing the surf wake. We've got countless hours behind it, a lot of testing. We had our pro team involved in the development process, and we really feel like we're putting out an amazing surf wake. Now, what about this hull makes it especially suited for that sport? Well, the convex hull is a patented design that Tiger came up with years ago, and it continues to be true to the sport every single day. So with surfing, the biggest thing that it does is it allows us to create a surf wake on either side of the boat, and it's competition pro level. So we've had a lot of people that are very happy with it, but whether you're goofy footed or regular footed, you can get a competition level surf wake out of the boat, and that's the main thing that convex hull does. Now, what kind of ballast options do you have? Uh, we have several but uh, on the Z3, for example, we're going to go from 900 pounds on our standard system. We'll jump up to a surf package that's 1,600 pounds, and then we go all the way up to a pro-level system that's 2,300 pounds. That is an absolutely amazing wake for both wakeboarding and surfing. Now, how do you dial in the wake? Everything is done through the Tiger Touch screen. Uh, Tiger Touch is our onboard control screen that touch, there's just touch control through everything, just like the name. Um, but it allows you to just simply push a couple buttons, have it filled up and ready to go, or you can save your profiles within the touch screen and you just dial in. I go find Alan Jones right there in the touch screen, hit the button, taps plate goes where it needs to go, ballast fills where it wants to go, speed is set, and you're dialed in to roll. How about as far as shaping the wake itself, what, do you, what can you do? Uh, you've got the TAPS plate, Tiger Adjustable Performance Plate, um, we introduced years ago in 1995. It'll allow you to dial in that perfect wake every single time. Well, Daniel, I noticed uh, we've had a lot of enhancements uh, on the rear part of the boat. What, what have you guys done? Well, with the Z3 being the latest one in the product line, we've had time to learn from everything else that we've done and continue to evolve our product. And the Z3 is exactly that. So the back end is the Transom Activity Center that you've known in Ataiga for years. However, we've just evolved it even further, a little bit more ergonomic seating, better storage capacity, did a center walkthrough with more storage areas and the ability to flip over. Um, your cushion, things like that. So we've really tried to also eliminate excess parts and other things that you need to put in the boat or take with you for the day. Everything's pretty well stored in compact areas and it allows you to use the boat exactly how you need to. Well, it seems to be not only a great place to stage, but also a pretty good place to hang out, too. Exactly. You just take the center walkthrough, you flip it over, it becomes a cushion, and it extends the sun pad all the way across, and people can lay across the back of the boat. You can use the Transom Activity Center as coolers. We have cup holders, wet lockers, the whole thing. That's a great, great use of every uh, inch on this boat. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what we've always done here at Taiga is set out to maximize your floor plan, uh, maximize the space of the boat, and make sure it's all usable. There's no part of this boat that isn't, that's going unused. Well, it wasn't a big surprise to me, but uh, I love the styling on this boat. Uh, what have you guys done? Uh, continued with the aggressive styling that we do, but the biggest thing about the Z3 this year is that we put that aggressive styling that you've come to know in a Taiga, and it's all into a traditional nose boat. The pickle fork design, wide open bow design has been very popular and has gained a lot of popularity over the past few years. But we decided to come out with something that's almost the new trend, and that's that's the traditional nose, but with plenty of space, plenty of room for everybody. Well, when you told me this is a 23-footer, that was pretty amazing. I mean, we have an incredible amount of room here. Yeah, it's a huge boat, puts out an amazing wake, as we've already talked about, but, you know, even further, it, this thing is maximizing all the space. So it's very deep. It's the deepest freeboard in our line, and I'd probably say it's the deepest freeboard in the industry. So you're definitely going to sit very low in the boat. You're going to feel comfortable. You're going to feel like you're in a good sized boat, but it's going to drive like a sports car. Well, it's pretty family friendly. That was the first thing I noticed when I got in here. Yeah. 
Um, you know, kids are well contained here. But um, let's take a look at the helm and see what we have going up there. Okay. Well, Daniel, one thing I noticed when I was sitting at the helm is how low the dash is, you know, giving you really good visibility here. How did you, how did you manage to get that extra space? Well, what we've decided to do is definitely take an automotive approach. Visibility is a huge thing for anyone who's driving a boat, making sure that the waterway is clear. But in order to lower that profile, which is definitely lower than any of our competitors, we moved our touchscreen off to the right-hand side of the boat. It's going to be close proximity to your throttle, and it's easy to navigate through all the different screens in order to operate the boat right Right there with your driving hand, but at the same time lowers every bit of visibility here, um, allowing it to be low profile dash. Then we finish it off with some hand upholstering, so it looks really nice. Looks great, and I like the fact that it's dark so you don't get reflections in the windshield too. And that's pretty much an option for anybody. Um, we've got basically a custom, a custom production design. If you want to make this bright colors, you can, but if you want to tone it down um, for other purposes, then you've got that ability. Well, I noticed when we were in your office, we saw a hand drawn. Uh, a uh, Xerox copy of something a customer wanted so people can come to you with ideas and you can make them happen. Absolutely. We ha like I said, we are a production custom. We've got our set parameters in which we can paint and detail and, and do the different styling that you prefer. But really, when you order your boat, you can order it from Taiga any way you want it and we can typically make it happen. Well, I'll tell you, just looking at the construction when we were going through about you know the way the cap, the deck is affixed to the hull, it's pretty stout. Yeah, our construction process is second to none. We laminate and fiberglass laminate every inch of the boat. The deck and hull gets laminated together and everything. So when you put these boats out on the water and put them through their paces, they're going to definitely handle the rough water second to none. And probably about 10 years later, they'll still sound about the same, I imagine, huh? That's the objective, is once it's all completely bonded together and it becomes one solid monocoque construction, uh, this boat's never going to come apart. And if it does, we warrant it and we'll give you a new one. I notice we have some uh, fairly uh, substantial uh, speakers here. What do we have going here? We use Wet Sounds Audio after, out of the factory, and Wet Sounds Audio is probably the biggest aftermarket brand that there is. Everyone seems to want to put it on their boat, but we decided to get with Wet Sounds, and we were the company that brought them into the OAM manufacturing side. We just decided that if this is what everybody wants, let's give it to them. So you get Wet Sounds out of the Taiga factory. It's warranted under our warranty, and it's taken care of and dialed in specifically for a Taiga. And you're in business with some of the loudest speakers I think I've ever seen. Not on the exactly boat. elevator music, is yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Well, it can be, but it'll be the loudest elevator music you've ever had. So. Nice. Well, let's uh, take a look at some of the storage you have in the cockpit here. Okay. Well, Daniel, I noticed we have uh, a surfboard and wakeboard storage for four in the racks here, but where else can we put them? Uh, there's pretty much storage everywhere in this boat. When it comes to a Taiga, I mean, you're never going to really be lacking in the room for things. So we do have continuous storage. Um, basically from right here and it's going to head all the way back through the back of the boat so if you have skis, surfboards, things like that there's typically a place to put them. Well, let's sit up front and see what we have going on up there. Well I'll tell you what uh, Daniel for a non pickle fork bow there's a lot of room in this thing. Absolutely. Um, as I said, we, we know this is a huge boat. Um, the big thing you can notice is we're a couple of six-foot guys, six one, and there's, there's room for us to fit in here, extend your legs all the way. And then you also have to notice how deep it is. I mean, we've got lean backs that are going up to shoulders in the bow of an inboard boat. And that definitely defies the tradition that people are used to. But there's room for days up here, and it's very, very dry. I like the fact that I can comfortably sit facing rearward so I can watch the ski in. Yeah. Yeah, the, the bow is an important part of the boat, and at Taiga, I've said we've done, we do the balanced floor plan. We can't, we can't compromise in the bow space. It's a usable area that a lot of kids like to be, and uh, it's, it's another place in the boat that has to be usable. Fantastic. For more information on the Taiga Z3 and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water.